For the first time in more than 60 years, Democrats will have little to no say in the decisions made at the Texas Senate. Today, the two-thirds rule that has kept a lot of strictly partisan bills from coming to a vote went by the wayside. As KXAN's Phil Prasian shows us tonight, Republicans now have the authority to bring a bill to a vote and pass it all on their own. The people spoke and on Tuesday, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick declared leaders were given a conservative mandate after a 20-point election victory. It's a new day in Texas. On the first day to work, Senator Kevin Eltai moved to eliminate the two-thirds rule. The eight new Republican senators changed the game. And most all of them have discussed this issue on the campaign trail. Before today, to bring a bill to the floor, at least one Democrat needed to say, okay, let's do it. But now, even if all the Democrats say, no, no a bill could still come to the floor. A line of Democrats stood to speak against it. Trampling the rights of the minority is never a good idea. And I will wager each and every one of you, you will find yourself during this legislative session on the wrong end of this particular rule. So it's not just about Republican versus Democratic issues. That's not what it's about. Well, it's about better governing. Yeah. I, I would respectfully say to you, Senator, that really is what it's about. A simple majority was needed and the two-thirds rule is no more. Ironically, with a vote of 20 to 10. Phil Prezen, KXAN News. And in the past, the two-thirds rule has made a big impact on what bills lawmakers actually vote on. For example, campus carry bills have never made it to the floor and therefore no vote. The proposals would have allowed people to carry guns on university campuses if they held a concealed handgun license. But back in 2013, many people we spoke to at the University of Texas were worried that move wouldn't actually make students any safer.